Hello and welcome back to Toilet Talk, the talk where we talk about toilets. Um, I'm revisiting the Cuddy toilet, which I did a video when I first got it, and now I've used it. So I figured I'd give you another one um, and let you know what I think. Overall, I think it's the bomb diggity. Nothing that I say that isn't good um, is a deal breaker. There's a couple things where I think things could be better. Um, but I mean, every time I use it, I'm happy that I have it. So uh, we'll get into it. A quick overview in case you haven't seen these before. It's a compo closet cutty. It's a composting toilet in a nice square. Is that ergonomic? I think that's for your back. You know what I mean. Fits in good places. This comes up slot two, slot one in the front there. And then this lifts up for cleaning. Um, this, like I said in the last video, is the first annoying thing. There should be some sort of latch here. I actually bought one, but it was too big, so I'll have to get another one. But an easy enough thing to fix. As far as the smell goes, you don't really smell it when it's put away. And it never smells bad, it just smells like compost. Um, and for the first couple weeks of using it, I'd never attached the electrical. So it didn't have the fan in, and it still wasn't that big of a problem. Um, I put the electrical in two days ago, and it makes a big difference. It runs through a charcoal filter. I can show you. Through there, it runs a little 12 volt fan, um, and that's definitely made it better. But really, it doesn't smell bad. I thought it would. I've never had a toilet in my van before, or used a composting toilet, and it's better than I was expecting. And I've had other people in here, and I've asked them, so it's not like I'm just nose blind to it. And of course, the other thing you're going to be worried about is cleaning it. And that was a lot easier than I was expecting too. The slot one thing, where the urine goes, if we're just going to use the words, is fantastic. That just comes out, it dumps. Um, they tell you to vent this, and then they recommended cutting a little slit in this gasket. Um, but I just drilled a couple holes there to let air go through so it doesn't build pressure. Um, and that's great. It works super well. That works really well when you pull it out, but as you can see in the jostling of van life, stuff does get everywhere. Um, but this just has to be lined up correctly. And that pulls right out and gets dumped wherever you want to dump. But yeah, you see, it needs a full wash every time and that fan isn't exactly waterproof. I've sprayed it like soft spray with a hose. You know, but you can't just power jet it. And that's not the easiest to do with one hand. All right, but still in there. But yeah, you can just take that bucket out, turn it upside down over a can or put it in a compost pile, whatever you're doing with it. Spray it down with a hose um, and it works really well. So yeah, not everything stays contained in that bucket. So I do spray it with a, the whole thing down with the hose every time. Um, and you just kind of have to be gentle around that fan. I do wish it was waterproof. Again, it's not a deal breaker. And uh, maybe I'll do something to waterproof it in the future. I don't know if that's possible, but it would be nice so you could just full jet it and not have to worry about being cautious around the fan. The other thing that I noticed is because of the way these things spin, it just makes a circle, which means those corners, the bottom corners of the bucket, don't really get agitated and they just kind of sit there. So I guess it's not necessarily a bad thing because it's not doing anything bad, but it might get some like corrugated plastic, like they make those yard signs out of and make them a triangle and stick them in the corners just to not be wasting compost that's just sitting in the corner, not getting worked on. Um, but overall, it churns it, it agitates it, it breaks it down, it doesn't smell. The whole one slot is great. That's, if you've seen a nature's head, it's that big, awkwardly shaped, clear, see-through thing that never really looks all that great from what I've seen. Um, that you can't see anything that's going on. It's got an indicator light, so you'll know if it's getting too full, which means you don't need that to be see-through. Um, and I really like that. And that, you just bring it wherever, dump it, flush it, quick, easy, don't have to think about it. Another thing to note is that you're gonna wanna have some type of bottle. 
I use one of these because it's just a psh, psh, squirt bottle um, to put water down after you use it for just a second, just to rinse it down. Um, there's no like flushing mechanism or anything like that. So you do need a water bottle um, and you do want to use composting toilet paper because if you don't, it gets caught up on the agitator thing and it just makes your cleanup a bit more of a mess. As far as usability and how much I'll use it, I use it a lot more than I thought I would. I was a bit timid to use it when I first got it. I've been traveling for six years in vans and I've never used a toilet um, in my van. I was never used a toilet. Never used a toilet in my van. It kind of like weirdly took me a little to get comfortable with it, but now it's great. Every time I use it, it's, you know, you don't have to worry about going in somewhere or using a public toilet or anything like that. It doesn't necessarily feel like you're sitting on, you know, a private toilet in your house and stuff, but you don't really care. And by the time you're done, you're like, great, that's over with, moving on. Um, more time for adventures, right? Uh, and the other thing is, if you have a partner like mine who makes frequent trips, bleh. The other thing is, if you have a partner, the other thing is, if you have a partner like mine who makes frequent twi twips, why can't I say that? <laughs> the other thing is, if you have a partner like mine um, who makes frequent trips at night, this is so clutch. Um, I can actually, it's so low, lightweight and square and it's got little handles on the side. Um, I just take it out from here because my bed slides out um, and kind of blocks this space. But I can just take it out and move it over there. And then at night you can get up and use it and you don't have to go into the woods or into a store or wherever else you might have to go. Um, and that's honestly like the most clutch bit that is so, so convenient. Yeah, so overall, I really like the thing. Like it's a bit messier than I was expecting. This doesn't stay up, um, but really with the messy, it's like with the, the nature of the things we're dealing with, it's gonna be messy. And compared to seeing other friends clean their composting toilets, this is definitely still easier. Um, having to spray it down with a hose or wipe it with a wipe is really not that big of a deal. And this works so much better than other things than I've seen. So that's a huge win. That's about as good as I could see it being. I'm gonna maybe fill those corners in just a little bit. Definitely use your air filter. Um, that's a big help. Took one nine volt battery for the indicator light that works exactly how you would want it to. The other thing is that um, I've been in contact with the owners of that company. Um, I was actually the fourth person to reserve one of these um, in the crowdfunding thing. So I got in contact with them then a little bit and then later on since that last video on my Instagram and stuff. And they're really nice people. Um, they just saw the product that could be better and they did it and they're doing it. And with COVID and everything, there was a bunch of mess ups, but they did it the whole time. They kept everybody updated. If there's ever been an issue, they answer quickly. Um, so it's a company that's backed by good people too, which is a good thing. And I'm not sponsored by them or anything, but they just seem nice and I appreciate people being nice and gear companies being nice because you're on the road and things are going on and the last thing you want is something going bad and then you have to go through some long system to get it fixed to get back doing what you're trying to do. Um, so I've never dealt with Nature's Head or other companies like that. I don't know how it is for them, but I know for these guys, it's been really great. The customer service has been really good. Um, and that's a big part for me. All right, cool. Well, that's pretty much everything. I hope it helped. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, I was given an affiliate link for this. So if you use that, I think it helps me out. I'm not really sure how those work. I've never done them, but they gave me an affiliate link, which I think is really nice. Um, and you can use that. If you have questions, let me know. If you have answers, let me know. Um, and I'll see you next time. Bye.